Yeah, this is like conservative, I think, for me. Whoa, conservative. <gasps> Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month and you get at least an extra video every week. The concept is wild. It's a wild, like if your best friend invented the Special Olympics and told you about it first, you'd be like, don't ever tell anybody that. Oh my God. Today I'm going to be reacting to a Jubilee video. This one is called Blind Dating Six Women Based on Their Bodies. Your body type. I would say someone who's like fit, someone who could definitely just like throw me around. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's a <your> turn, <laughs> that's a <your> turn. <laughs> Noted. It's a good intro. I would say my body type is someone that's very slim. Um, someone that keeps up with themselves. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Interesting toes. <laughs> very interesting toes. What is your ideal body type? Tall, fit. <laughs> um, uh, but Tell not too it. big because I'm I'm kind of a small person, so not like you can kill me. Um, <laughs> like they're kidnapping you. Yeah, I would say someone who's like fit and like takes care of themselves. Like someone the who could definitely just like throw me around. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's it. I thought it would be a little bit more clear where maybe you're looking at them through a glass wall and maybe you don't even get to see their face but you're looking at everything else at least. But the fact that they're starting off with, I guess, one by one by one, each detail of their body, literally starting with the quality of their feet. I mean, what if you didn't even have a pedicure that day or, I don't know, I would assume if you know that you're going to be on this for this thing, maybe you would prepare, but he even kind of called some of them out. So yeah, like what if what if it's just that day for you? Um, I didn't know that they would do it this way. They're, they mean every part of the body, like section by section. So I didn't know that it was going to be done that way, but I, I mean, I kind of like it, it's interesting. Fit and like takes care of themselves. Someone who could definitely just like throw me around. Yeah. Oh, all right, that's your turn, that's your turn. <laughs> Noted. I have dated people of like all different heights and body types, so I don't, I don't discriminate over here, baby. I mean. I noticed the tattoo bittersweet, <laughs> and I gotta say, I really dig that. Pretty quick. You must eliminate one woman from the speed dating? Oh, pretty I'm quickly. That's interesting. I'm going to have to go based on the feet. I love the answers from this one, but I'm going to have to eliminate number one. Oh, oh hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, they meet each other. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Like her hair. I don't know. They just. They were the only ones not really done. Yeah. Like, okay. I hike and like okay. lift, so yeah. nail polish just gets rubbed off. Uh, yeah. Like, I, like, I, I like going hiking too. Yeah. I'm, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go off of the answers next time. But I mean, I think that it's fair. If you're really just trying to narrow it down and their answers were all pretty pleasant to you, then I would understand maybe just kind of going off of maybe the lackluster answer and the worst feat. But yeah, she seemed cool, especially since. That's a really valid reason. Why would you're always wearing sneakers and like workout shoes? Why even bother getting a pedicure? Like her feet are probably not gross and crusty, but you're not gonna go and get your nails done if you're literally always like doing those activities. It is just gonna get rubbed off. She was cute too. Wow, they went up really high. Her tummy's really okay. nice. The girl <laughs> at the so end. some are a little bit revealing, and others, I see shorts. Yeah. Okay. What's up with the shorts? Cheating. Um, my parents are going to watch this, and um, my parents. Yeah, this is like conservative, I think for me. Whoa, conservative. Okay, okay, hmm. nice. And then number How five. Oh, you, there's a lot of tattoos. Um, I'm interested by the answer. I'm not judging or nitpicking, but it is interesting that some of them did have the option to wear. I guess. One even looks like a swimsuit to me. Swimsuit shorts and literally panties. I thought it was interesting that the girl who wore panties seemed to say, oh, well, this is actually conservative for me. What's, what's less than that? except for naked. Honestly, I do even feel that a lot of guys, even at this level, could probably even already make their pick, but I do like that they're still going on. One, you get pretty good answers out of this. What if the one that you would pick gives like the worst answers or something? Um, so I like that they're continuing to go, but this was a huge reveal in my opinion from feet to half of their body. Now there was someone earlier who mentioned uh, being thrown around. <laughs> oh, hi. Now, this I hand, have a personalized question for you. Oh no. What's your biggest turn on? Um, oh. probably, oh no, I can't say that. Um, 
I would just say he's like <laughs> someone who cares about pleasing the other person more than themselves. Okay. How comfortable are you in your own body? Um, I think when I was growing up, I wasn't. Um, but then as I got older, honestly, I think that I kind of had you a glow up. But yeah, I'm pretty confident, as you can kind of tell. Shout out to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty confident and comfortable in my body, but it was a process. Like, I don't think it naturally came to me. I've always kind of been like the bigger. I did notice that the first girl and the second girl had the same answer, but for different reasons. Both of them did kind of have to grow up and accept their body, but they're pretty confident in their body now. It took me a lot of time to kind of be comfortable in my skin. Back in school, I used to be made fun of for being like real skinny. I'm trying to learn how to love my body throughout all stages and be comfortable in it no matter what it looks like. I'm like cute all the time, so yeah. <laughs> Nice. We all have our insecurities and I definitely have some, but I go to the gym a couple times a week and I've been weight training for almost like the past year and I feel like that's helped with my confidence and feeling comfortable with my body a lot. How many am I eliminating this round? Two. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh. Number three. Okay. Hi, babes. Oh, you're oh, cute. Shoot. Oh, oh my so funny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I like your tattoos. Thank you. Damn. We'll make up. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll make up. It's Damn, cool. She's this really is hard as hell. Like, I don't want to eliminate anybody. <laughs> Number two. Mm. Hi. Hi. I'm in Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. I, I thought you were going to be taller than me, so I was like, yeah, okay, like, um, yeah. I'm tall. <laughs> It'd be like tall. that. I didn't even it's notice okay. yet, but yeah. yeah. It's okay. Next to the first girl, <laughs> her hips are like way up here. Maybe he wasn't really impressed by the shorts. He did kind of call them out in a certain way, like, hey, what's up with that? And maybe that was just something that stuck with him, like, oh, we'll go ahead and have her. Might have seemed like the least body confident. Her hands were behind her back or up and how she was standing. You can basically see her face. She needs to scoot over because okay. you can see more so of her than the other see. ones. What's your least favorite thing on your body? Either my boobs or my nose. What does that key mean? Right. <laughs> it's the key to my heart. <laughs> I like that. You I'm want it? To, I might have to take that right now. <laughs> I'm confident and I'm happy with the body type I have, but at the same time, if I'm feeling insecure or if I'm experiencing like body dysmorphia or anything like that, it's almost a situation where it's not accepted for me to have those insecurities or voice them because somebody might be a different type of body type that's more targeted in a bad way with society. So I will say like being a curvier girl, mm. I do have like obviously like more belly and more leg than a lot of like Instagram models and stuff do. Obviously like everyone has their angles and stuff that you could like kind of hide that a little bit. Why are you single and what do you look for? I kind of liked that the first girl's answer was a little bit more um, short and simple, and then there was even a little bit of flirting with the whole key thing. I just think that the playfulness, even if it's really short and small, this is a very short and small experience, it's speed dating. So even if there's one or two comments of just playfulness or flirtiness, I would think that it would really make an impact. I mean, I think it clearly made an impact to him whenever this girl said, I want a guy who's at least big enough or, you know, can toss me around. That clearly stood out to him and popped his ears up. But now I feel like the girl at the beginning might be getting more of that attention because she's a little bit more playful and seems a little bit more confident even. Um, if I had to guess right now, I almost want to say that you'd probably pick the girl in the middle with the anklet. One, she got his attention at the very beginning, and I feel as a whole package, I like her answers, and I feel like his the body type that he would pick would probably be her just for the whole package reason. But that's just a guess so far. Why are you single, and what do you look for in a partner? I'm single because, probably because of my bad taste in guys. I've only been in one relationship, technically, and we never even labeled it because it was just so toxic and honestly like emotionally abusive. I would say I'm single right now just because I'm a very picky person. Uh, I'm open to going out and casually dating and just having fun. I'm not necessarily like looking for the one or like anything. I actually moved out here from the East Coast with my ex at the time, so put on my best clown makeup and came out here and oh. <laughs> it did not work out. It did not work out. I'm looking for someone that's wholesome. I liked your answer. She made fun of herself in a playful way. Um, but yeah, the first girl kind of saying, I've really only kind of been with one guy and then it also was a toxic relationship. Really just kind of seemed sad. I don't know how he would take that in as a man. 
Um, so I'm not really going to premise it any other way than that. The girl in the middle also probably had the best answer maybe that would perk up his ears because again, she didn't seem like she was like desperate. She's been in a lot of relationships, but she also didn't seem like she's afraid to be in one. She's not looking, but she's open. Since he's about to eliminate another two women, I feel like he would eliminate... I just feel like he's going to pick the girl in the middle. So I guess that would mean he's going to eliminate the other two. Um, the girl on each end. Okay. The first girl was playful so too, though. the person know. I'm going to have to eliminate, unfortunately, is number three. Okay. Hi. Hi. Damn, I, I love your hair. I did not expect your face to look oh. like that. Hi. I love I'm her Luke. hair. Oh, Makai. Nice, nice to, to meet you. It's adorable. Little heart. Tattoos. Yeah, nice, nice story. Yeah. You do have nice. He has really has nice eyes, by the way. He really does. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Her personality is gold. I like the hearts. Thank you. The hearts are dope. <laughs> she was so cute. Oh. I'm going to have to eliminate number one, two. Okay, you did pick one. It's that tummy. Hi. Hi. Oh, hair. Yeah. All of their hair. Nice all of their hair is so nice. It's all either like really curly and fluffy or just really cute. Um, yeah, she has a really nice smile. I kind of noticed that about everyone, honestly, right when they come out. It really makes a difference hearing that voice and how they answer and then putting it to a face. It's almost like you light up. And most of them all had like really nice faces and really nice smiles. And it just kind of seemed bright when they came out. Like, oh, hi. Faces are very important. And I do feel like um, it's, it's kind of cool that they're they're separating the two because I do know that people clearly do look at bodies but the first thing you see on someone is usually their face that's kind of what you take in as the most important like the most recognizable thing like oh that's that's what you stick to in your memory uh, I'm Makai nice to meet nice you nice to meet you <laughs> damn <laughs> I don't know like you just seem very very shy I like your answers though. yeah like, <laughs> I got like the same glasses as you you do what's your vision are you uh um, near or farsighted I am Near side where you can see, right? Right. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me. You want to take my glasses? Okay, yeah. for sure. Can I see them with the? Oh, yours is. Oh, I don't know. Like... Uh, I got fucked <laughs> on my side. Like, it's like it's, 3D, huh? It's like a little stronger than mine, so yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be fiery. You good? It was nice meeting you. Thank I'm sorry. you. <laughs> Yeah, she, that actually is good that he pointed that out because I kind of forgot that I was getting that vibe while she was talking and then the girl who's wearing the shorts, they both seemed um, a little bit more shy. I actually also kind of liked that they clearly seem to have chemistry. Um, I feel like that might be what was kind of initially disappointed to him whenever she came out. Obviously, she was super pretty, but then like even hugging her and her talking about the glasses, I don't know, it was just kind of like an instant, oh, you guys could have worked out. So I wonder how he feels right now, like, ooh, did I just make a mistake? Or how he'll even feel afterwards, like, no, no, I have more chemistry with her, but that was definitely a good second choice. I don't know how he'll feel. Hi. Oh, Hi. Yeah, she's Hello, I'm Makai. Can I hug you? <laughs> yeah, of course, I've been hugging everyone. Hello. Hi, Hi, Maddie. Um, you have nice tattoos, and I like your answers as well, especially with the key to the heart thing. That one, that one, was, dope. That one was dope. I'm definitely excited to see like what happens. This is awkward eye contact right now. <laughs> I don't know where to look. I don't know where. <laughs> Can I have your number, Instagram? Y'all actually do make like a really cute like couple. It. So like, mm -hmm. um, y'all don't date. I don't do that. Like, She's yeah. so yeah. too. I didn't even realize. Okay, so the first girl who's eliminated is also tall too. So for the most part, it does seem like he went with was. was Pretty much what he described. He eliminated the girls who were tall. He didn't really want a girl who was taller than him. And then he does want somebody who's at least a little bit fit or takes care of themselves because he feels that way about himself. So that's not really asking for that much. You want to be active with somebody. So then I think the next one who was eliminated was probably somebody who didn't he didn't feel fit that body type. And the last two girls I would say were probably a pretty good choice for him. But if you really had to pick one, I guess I also see that that other girl was a little shy. So I feel like it's a good match. Um, it was really interesting. They were all really nice about it. They all took it really well. They all seem really bubbly and happy. So I actually kind of like this one. It almost seemed less awkward and less harsh than rating the um, girls or guys in the other videos that I've done. But that's going to be it for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I haven't done a lot of Jubilee videos, but I am liking them a lot so far. So let me know what you think. Also, make sure you check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And I will see you all next time. My mind may be blue.